Hello everyone, that girl doing stuff speaking and this is my first video on this channel which will be dedicated to my game development journey, which I hope will be long and bright and full of successes. Obviously, this will not be that easy because I have almost zero experience in game development. I created my first game in November last year and I did it for the sake of the game of Jam 2020. And I intended to create a video dedicated to the whole process of creating it, but making the video took so much time that I just decided to disregard it and I will just present the game to you in this video. So not only is this the first video on my channel, but it's also the presentation of my first game that I created and I did it with zero game dev experience. And currently I am working on my second game, which I hope will be more advanced and sophisticated and most importantly more fun than the first one but i learned a lot creating my first game i did it in unreal engine uh, with a use of blueprints uh, because i can't program really i do have some uh, experience in programming like <laughs> i tried to learn but i just never did so i created the first game in blueprints and i also have no experience in making 3d models uh, but I want to learn that all. I want to learn 3D graphics, I want to learn animations, sound editing for the sake of the game. I want to learn it all. So I hope I will do it and I hope I will be a successful game developer someday in the future. But right now I'm just having fun. And since being a solo game developer is kind of my dream, right now I did find a lot of strength and motivation in me to pursue my dreams. And this is what this channel is about. This is the channel about pursuing dreams in game development. I hope this will help me to reach my goals. If by any chance anybody will enjoy it along the way, then it's even better. Because what's a greater reward than to inspire other people? Let's jump to the game itself. Let me introduce you to the Mask Extinction, which is the most engaging, bugless, and what's most important, finished game that you can't win and can't quit. And it's not by design, those are just errors. This is how it looks. Uh, to enter the game, you need to click this twice, because for some reason it doesn't work the first time you do it. You have a beautiful map with beautiful squares which tells you how many people you have in certain area. Your population is dying, also not by design but by calculation error. And yes, partially by design because I wanted to do it but I never implemented this idea. So what's happening here is an error. Although a happy error because I wanted to have it anyway in my game. So if you wanted to play this game properly you would have to build a lot of rockets so you can have them in, the, in inventory and place them on your map but you can't place them just on a map because I couldn't do it but before you do so you need to place gather points gather points are those locations that tell local people to go towards those points and they don't work okay finally <laughs> So the most logical move is to just add points in, in, in areas with highest populations, which you can see by hovering over the certain area, let's call it square, and thanks to that all of the population goes toward that point and frees up the rest of the area. And now when you click to automatically send rockets to moon, you will use all of your rockets and available gather points to send rockets to the moon. Another thing to do here, you can add extraction points on top of the gather points, thanks to which you don't have to think about sending rockets anymore from certain point because those extraction points do it for you every five seconds which in the end is super inefficient as you can do it faster simply by clicking automatic rocket placement but whatever this game is not perfect we already agreed on that uh, you can't win this game because this game never finishes i mean you would probably have to kill all of the population or save them which is impossible but you have 8 billion people here so it's, it would take a while and as you can see there is nothing more happening around here there should be that real disaster you should be fighting against earthquakes, hurricanes, floods, and 
what is most important, pandemics around those gather points. But yeah, I have never implemented those uh, functionalities, so unfortunately they don't work. And that's it. As you can see, our extraction points working no non-stop, trying to send as many humans as possible to the non-existing moon, but it does not help really. And you can't quit it. I'm quitting escape as we speak and it just does not work because it's an awesome game. It's finished game and I am super proud I made it. But hey, it was my first game and to be honest, I actually mean it when I say that I'm proud of this game because I had zero knowledge on making games, graphic, game graphics, programming and so on before I started this project. So I am freaking freaking proud of myself. Hopefully in the future I will be able to create more appealing games visually and when it comes to the gameplay. Uh, but I'm setting my goals low so that I can reach them. Right now I am trying to develop a game that will that will honor my three lovely cats. But for now it's just a simple fox game that can't really move even. But yeah, also at some point I would definitely want to create my game engine and would like to dive deeper into game development in general. I would like to understand more how the graphics is calculated, how math behind the scenes work, and I hope I will be able to do it someday. I hope I will also be able to actually program a game, not use blueprints, but baby steps, right? Baby steps. Thank you for watching.